I'll show you how to put moving averages on your chart in TradingView. Up at the top, go to indicators right here, and then search for moving average. You can see we've got moving average simple, and I'll show you moving average exponential as well. You can favorite these as well, and they'll be right here in your favorites for next time. So I can click one of these, and you can see up in the top left, it is now on the chart. You can click it twice, three times, and more if you want to put multiple moving averages on your chart. I believe if you want multiple indicators on TradingView, you do have to go up into the paid version. I'll leave a link below for a discount on that. But for moving averages, I believe you can get away with the free version as well. Now, what we can do is change the settings of the moving averages. Go to the settings icon right here, and you want to go to inputs. This is where you can choose which moving average that you're looking at. Nine is not really a often used moving average. So I would suggest 50, 100, and 200. 50 is more or less a shorter term moving average, 100 maybe medium term, and 200 longer term. So you can put these on as you wish. So let's put a 50 period in. I'm just gonna press okay. Then we're gonna put 100 here, like this. And also for the third one, we'll put 200. Notice on the chart that you can see these are changing because they are calculating the moving averages differently. You can see that right here. Now, something else to be aware of is that the time frame automates to chart time frame. That means that the moving average that we're looking at is a 50 period moving average of the time frame of the chart. Come up here, you can see I'm on the weekly chart. That means that we are looking at a 50 week moving average right now. All of these default to the chart time timeline. So if I now go to, for example, a day chart, you can see that the moving averages, I'm just gonna right click and reset chart view, the moving averages have now changed. These are now cal calculating the 50 day moving averages right here. You can also change this. So I'm on the day chart right now, but what I'm gonna do is change these moving averages down here to weekly moving averages. I'm gonna choose week like this, press okay. Notice that it changes, and I'm gonna press this for the rest as well to make them weekly moving averages. You can see that all of the moving averages are now going to change. The moving averages are now calculating based on my chosen time frame. So these now are weekly moving averages, but the chart that I'm looking at, the price chart, is the day price chart. So you can choose anything that you want to have the perfect moving averages for your trading. Moving averages can of course show us trends in the price. When the price is dragging the moving average upwards, that shows you that you're in an uptrend and the price is moving higher. We can also compare two different time frames in our moving averages to show what short-term prices are doing in relation to longer-term prices. You can see up at the top, I've got the simple moving averages here. This is the 50 period, and this is the 100 period. These are based on the weekly chart. The 50 period is in white, and the 100 period is in green. You can see right here, when the 50 period crosses over the uh, 100 period, we're obviously in a downtrend where prices are falling off in comparison to the longer-term trend. You can also see right here a crossover where white crosses over green. So that means prices are recovering in relation to that longer term trend as well. These can indicate you know, areas of weakness or strength and you can trade around that. You can also compare exponential moving averages to simple moving averages. So I'm just going to get rid of the simple moving average here. We're gonna to go to indicators, moving average exponential like this, put this on the chart. And then you want the exact same parameters. So let's go to a 50 period moving average like this. And I'm gonna put that on the weekly because the other moving average is, and just make that an easier color to see. For example, green, something like this, uh, yellow probably, uh, so okay. Now we can see the exponential moving average changes uh, in a different way to the simple moving average. Exponential moving averages give more weight to more recent price action. And so you can see they follow the price a little bit more closely than the simple moving averages. You can see these crossovers here may tell you something. So for example, the exponential moving average starts to actually bottom out and starts moving to the upside and crosses over the simple moving average right here, showing that there may be a change in trend from that downward movement to actually a uh, move to the upside again. And that's obviously a fantastic trading signal if you want to trade trends and changes in those trends. If you trade crypto, I'll leave some deposit and trading bonuses to the exchanges I use down in the description alongside some other helpful videos on TradingView and trading in general. I'm James, it's Money's and G. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.